May 12, 2013. This is one month after I started the aquaponics. This is the jalapeno plant. This is after one month. Got three peppers on it. Uh, this is a cucumber here. It's now starting to sprout those little things to hold on to, to run the vine up. So I put a PVC pipe there. See if it'll climb up into this tree. Um, just want to note um, this aquaponics tub that I bought from Ruta Plastics. It was not really holding the, the setup I had here with the stone in it. The, the tub was actually warping inward, so I put concrete blocks to support it. This one, however, this half tank is, is holding pretty well. It's not warping or anything. Once you put these blocks, just stop it from going in right here. That's all sinking on itself. Um, this is the tomato plant after one month. Um, the jalapenos. And the lettuce. Oh. What I did with these lettuce is I just threw the seeds inside the stones and they started to take off. And this is the other setup I have here. Uh, this jalapeno is doing okay, one pepper so far. This is the cucumbers. And the lettuce plants coming out of the stone there. I'm not sure if that is broccoli or just some weed growing inside there. Well, <laughs> not not weed, but like some sort of like weird shit that fell on there and started growing. Um, what else I wanted to mention? Oh yeah. I had a, a algae bloom inside this one while the other two ponds the concrete pond and the aquarium was clay at the time probably a week ago so I said what I'm gonna do is join up these two systems so first I just did a, a tank attachment right there and, and all right, this is a pump here at the bottom of the below the duckweed and that pumped, it, pumped water straight into this tank and this one there is the overflow with the tank attachment and just went straight back into the concrete pond after two days of running um, I just a single leaf stopped right there this, it just went straight on top and the whole tank well, this tank started to overflow and this concrete pond emptied and I, and I lost one pump because of it had burnt out. So what I did was I added this overflow system here as a kind of backup. Just have two running at the same time. So, so far it's working good. But I haven't seen any leaves sticking it as yet. So I suppose two leaves could come here and stick it and I would have the same problem. But We'll see. Um, anything else I want to mention? Um, yes. With this filter, I don't know if I spoke about it before, but inside the gravel and inside the filter floss had worms, earthworms living. Um, they would live once the water is running because that is, is a new supply of oxygen. However, um, the hose fell out the other day, this hose running up inside here and the water remained stagnant for like um, maybe half a day and all the worms died so it was a, a serious problem because the, the water was really disgusting coming out of here. But I mean I just continued to run the filter and, and all the earthworms and everything got eaten up by the bacteria. Um, what else I want to say? Oh yeah, 
um, for these filters to work properly. Um, I bought this Nitri Pro bacteria. It works really well. I've been running it all the time. I just forgot to mention it. I'm um, just adding a little bit in all the filters and they run really good. Um, the tanks are yet to clear up because there was a significant amount of algae but they are clearing up more and more each day. So by the next video all these would be totally clear. So I'll give another look at my last filter here. There's the pumps inside there. And it goes down. I have a lot of moss and duckweed growing inside there. But this pond, sorry, this tub, it's pretty clear. I don't know, you can see straight to the bottom. I have no problems with filtration there. And yeah, I have this pepper plant. Uh, they're not doing so good because when I initially planted it, it was barely touching the, the water. Well, we're at the top level of the water. So, it started to die and I only picked up on it after a while. And it, it's now sprouted new leaves, so it's coming back. But yeah, so, so far the, the best of doing is with this jalapeno plant with those three peppers. And this cucumber, I don't know where that hole came from. Uh, and, and that cucumber plant is really taken off. So... Um, I may build um, a trellis for that cucumber plant, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so that's all May 12, 2012. Sorry, 2013.